Listen up, independent thinkers. It's not that they hate us. No, no. They fear us. They fear us. If you have not invested in gold and silver yet, I dare you to get started. If you already have, I dare you to get your hands on some more. This video is going to be about the survey that I did four days ago. At the time of this video, 48 of you had participated in my survey that I had posted on my YouTube channel. Here was the question that I provided on my survey. If premiums were not a factor, no markups of any kind, if you could buy a silver at the spot price, what silver would you stack the most today? Now, before I started putting this in the computer on, on YouTube, uh, I had like nine questions, nine selections, nine options. I was only able to do five, so I didn't get to put some on here that I wanted to put on here, uh, but this is what I had. First, I had the 90% uh, junk constitutional silver. The second option was American Silver Eagles. The third option, I put down large silver bars. I wanted to have on here silver rounds, uh, generic rounds, that is, uh, but I decided to have the fourth and the fifth one obviously kind of trick questions. I'm glad no one selected this, uh, these options, but the fourth one was silver futures as a safe option for me. Uh, if you don't know, silver futures is when you buy silver on paper, okay? And someone keeps it locked up in a safe for you and they provide that service. And in some cases you might pay a monthly service fee in order for them to store your silver. Uh, the fifth option was uh, saying that silver is trash. I prefer the uh, U.S. currency, the promissory notes that we all carry around with us today or that we have in our banks. Now, these results don't surprise me at all, okay? Number one was American Silver Eagles, okay? Two-thirds, two-thirds of those who took the survey said that they, if, if, if premiums was not an issue, now, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure most of you do know, uh, American Silver Eagles today, you're looking at paying over $40. Spot price is barely over $23 at the time of the recording of this video. But in most cases, you're looking at a $20 markup, a $20 premium. And I know that's a, that's a problem for a lot of us silver stackers. We think, you know, why would I pay such a large premium when I can get generic rounds for only four five, six, maybe seven dollars over spot. Uh, if, if all you care about is the meltdown value, the weight, then it makes sense to, to stack generic rounds. Some of us might say, well, it's kind of a protest too. You know, I'm not going to give in and pay those premiums because it comes down to principal. You know, that's almost double uh, the spot price. And in some cases it is double. Uh, so I'm a man of principle, so I'm not going to pay those prices. 23% of you had said that uh, you would pick uh, and select junk constitutional silver, 90%. And only 10 of you had selected the uh, large silver bars. Those of you who still have your minds, probably mostly on meltdown value and you're just wanting the weight. But keep in mind, uh, th this question was, uh, if there are no premiums whatsoever, premiums where it was not a problem, it was not a factor, right? What would you prefer to stack on? And I'm glad nobody, 0%, uh, nobody selected the other two uh, clown, clownish answers. So I'm, I'm glad that that shows we're, we're surrounded with good company here, okay? Everybody here values and understands the uh, necessity, the power of holding physical silver in our hands. What's very interesting, and the point that I want to make with this video, is that, you know, if most of us like the American Silver Eagles, we have to ask the question, why? GE Texas made a very interesting point. This is what he said. He said, definitely American Silver Eagles. Just a magnificent coin whose only downside was, is the high premiums. I couldn't agree with uh, GE Texas uh, anymore. I mean, what, what a great response. What a great answer. What are the benefits of the American Silver Eagles? Well, one uh, of greater value is the meltdown value. That's, that's given. But also, they also have a face value, okay? They are guaranteed. They are IRA approved. They are guaranteed by the U.S. government as money. So there's a second backup reason right there. And it's like what the GE Texas said. They're absolutely beautiful. They are. Who, who could not possibly love Lady Liberty? But I think the biggest factor is the fact that it is a IRA approved. It is a U.S. government minted 
coinage. There's more than one way that it would be accepted, whether it be face value or meltdown value. Now, I had two other comments regarding the uh, constitutional silver, and I agree 100% on these too. Uh, the first one uh, was from J.B. Gant. He said, under those conditions, absolutely 90% junk constitutional silver. No contest. Recognizable, face value, uh, will never be minted again. Fractional, historic, collectible, and more so in the future. Also, durable if ever needed for circulation again. There we go. So we got both the meltdown aspect of the weight and we also have fractional, and we also have the fact that they don't make this stuff anymore. But we do know that a lot of these coinage uh, from 64 and older have been already melted down. But I agree 100%. I love to get constitutional uh, silver because they just don't make it anymore because of the fact that it could just be worth a lot more money later on down the road as a numismatic. You know, I've got this uh, Roosevelt here. This is the, by the way, this is the, the one that I found for free. Uh, in a Coinstar machine the other day. I still have it. It's in great shape. This is not numismatic, okay? But it could be someday who win. Maybe 10 years, 50 years, 100 years, who knows? But someday this will be worth more than just the meltdown value. Another comment came in from Chris. He said 90% because it's not made anymore. Yes, I am still buying it now if I can get a good deal on it. For me, that's my story. I'm still buying junk constitutional silver. I hear a lot of people complain about how the premiums are too high. Yes, they are higher compared to just two years ago, but I still like to get them because I believe, like I said, they're going to just be having more numismatic value later on down the road. I just think it's a good long-term investment. And of course, I'm glad someone made a comment about the large silver bars. Andre said 10 ounce bars. They are the sweet spot. I know that feeling, my friend, uh, you know, just holding a 10 ounce silver bar in my hand, heck, even five ounces, it all, it just feels nice. It's a lot of fun to show to friends, family. It's a great educational purpose. The other two are as well. American Silver Eagles and Junk Constitutional Silver is educational as well, but there's just something unique. There's something different about holding a nice, large, heavy silver bar in your hand. It feels great. Okay, so what's my point? What was my reason for doing this survey? Okay, here's my point. Now, I've said in a lot of my older videos, I talk about how, you know what, guys, I don't get caught up in the premium, okay? I don't care. Okay, I don't worry. If I buy a piece of silver today, and if the silver has a high likely chance of it going down in value next week, a couple months, and maybe a couple years down the road, I don't care, okay? I don't care. I just wanna have it. I just wanna hold it. I just wanna have the silver in my hands. Let's say right now today, you're gonna be paying about, let's just say $45, okay? $45 for that uh, American Silver Eagle. Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, that's insane. That's a $20 plus uh, markup. You know, this, the meltdown value today is only $23 and some change. I am not going to pay that much of a premium. But let's say if you did buy that American Silver Eagle today, and let's say uh, mid-2023, spot price is uh, $60, okay? So spot price is is $60 and maybe it's got a $30 premium on it now. So they're worth $90, but you bought it today for $45. Well, you've doubled your investment. If you love those American Silver Eagles so much, if you see the value in having them, they're IRA approved, uh, they're, they're accepted by the government, uh, meltdown value as well, collectability, uh, newsmismatic value as well down the road. If you like the American Silver Eagles and if you see the wisdom and the value in them, don't get so caught up in the spot price. I'm not knocking uh, buying the, the weight and getting the better lower price on the generic rounds. The point I am trying to make is that, hey, if you have a passion, if you have a love for something, okay, if you see the value in the American Silver Eagles, I wish I had one in my pocket to show you. If that's what you feel you should have, go for it. Don't get so caught up on the premiums. You know, a lot of experts, including myself, okay, I'm not a professional. By the way, I don't provide any financial advice, no legal advice. This is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Just wanted to throw that disclaimer in that it just makes sense to get the American Silver Eagles. 
Don't get so caught up on the premium. Now, I know a lot of you are probably getting upset with me. You're probably thinking, gosh, darn it, you know, economic friend, he's part of the problem. I want to see those premiums come back down on the American Silver Eagles. And now he's just justifying uh, the retailers, the local coin shops, people who are selling these. It's only justifying their ripoff price. Maybe, and if so, I, I apologize. I'm not trying to be a part of the problem. I, like I mentioned in my, my previous videos, I, I'm not a local, I, I don't own a coin shop, okay? I'm not selling this stuff. I'm not in the business to selling silver or any kind of precious metals. I'm just stacking and holding long term. I'm afraid that a day will come you'll wish that you had gotten some more of those American Silver Eagles. I really do. Let's say two, three years down the road, let's say those American Silver Eagles are selling for $150 each. That's very possible. I think extremely likely. You'll be looking back to 20, the end of 2022, December of 2022, wishing that you'd bought a few more tubes. Me personally, I feel that the premiums that they have on junk constitutional silver, now I know a lot of you who've been uh, seeking and collecting and stacking junk constitutional silver years ago, you think, man, this is just ridiculous. It all comes down to principle. I get it. I understand. But me personally, I don't think the premiums are out of control with the junk constitutional silver. Uh, kind of like what Chris said, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, I'm always looking for a good deal and I want to get the best deal I can. And that's part of the hunt. That's part of the thrill is walking away and saying, you know, I got a good deal on these. But if you want to fight back against uh, coin shops, here's what I recommend. If they just want to run through a machine and just hand you random junk constitutional silver, don't do it. There's got to be a coin shop within driving distance a lot closer than you might think where they're going to allow you to look through the tote and handpick and get what you want. I think that would force uh, the local coin shops to lower their premiums on the coins they want to just run through a machine and now oh, here's your $20 uh, face value of, uh, of mercury, dimes, or whatever. But me personally, like I said, I, I one time, many years ago, I went to a local coin shop and they didn't want to let me uh, uh, run my fingers and look through the tote like I've been to at other places. They just want to run through a machine. I was just like, no, thank you. I just, I didn't buy from them. I just took my business somewhere else. But in my opinion, that's just not good business. That's not good customer service for somebody who wants to get a decent looking uh, junk constitutional silver. But enough said about that. I want to go ahead and share who won. I got three Roosevelt dimes, 1964 and older, that I'm going to be giving away. Now, I know in the past I've done the, uh, the generating uh, winner. I would do it on video. But my friends, it took a lot of my time to do that. I don't have fancy software uh, where I can just do a screenshot and it records audio. I was having to do it separately, uh, cut and paste the audio with the video and all that other stuff. It's just too much work. So I just went ahead and I, I put in the, uh, the URL from the YouTube video, the last previous YouTube video, and I put in the hashtag giveaway. It showed that there was 12 people who had participated in it. So I just went ahead and uh, ran the contest and I selected three winners. I didn't select the winners. The uh, the online picker selected the winners. And this is what it came up with and I just wrote it down. So here's what I got. Uh, the first one was Lou Eckert. So Lou Eckert, you're, I'm going to be sending you uh, one of these Roosevelt dimes. Uh, the second uh, receiver that I'm giving away this to is uh, Big O. Big O. I don't know if he's uh, worked for Big O Tires or what the story is there. And maybe he's a big guy. He starts like me, and his name starts with O. I don't know. But uh, Big O, you're you're going to be getting uh, one of these Roosevelt dimes. And the third, but not least, Ron Williams. R Ron Williams, uh, you're the third person to get one of these. Now, here's what you got to do: send me an email. Okay, I'll send you an email, and I'll provide you with some type of a link or some instructions, so that way I can verify that the, the actual winner is not a bot or somebody who's just trying to scam and claim the prize. So I'm gonna have verify and make sure that uh, I'm receiving an email and you're doing something so I can verify that you're the one who actually won uh, or is receiving this giving piece of silver. You're gonna be sending your email to uh, your economic friend at gmail.com. The email is also in the description below. So send me an email and I'll send you some instruction on what you need to do to verify that you're the true winner. So I'm going to do this again. Three more, okay? So here's what you got to do, okay? And if you've already received one of these, you can do this as many times, okay? I'm not hand selecting or hand picking individuals. I'm not doing what's fair. Life is full of winners and losers, right? We all take chances. 
Uh, so if you already received one of these, or even if you've won one of my giveaways I had in the past, you're not excluded from this at all. So just because you participated in the previous video, that doesn't mean you can't participate in this video. Okay, so this is open for everyone. One disclaimer though, I want to, as I mentioned in my previous video, I want to be able to just put a 60 cent stamp on this and mail it to you. So if you live outside of the United States, I apologize. I am sorry, but uh, you got to live in the 48 continental uh, United States or Canada, wherever you know that a 60 cent stamp will go. If you know, if, if I had to put on a second stamp, not a big deal, right? Uh, one of my giveaways that I had at the beginning of the channel uh, was a gentleman who lived in Australia. And this was during the thing. Not only did I have to pay like $30 to ship it to him, uh, his prize, but uh, it, it took like two months for it to get through to him because of all the restrictions that they had going on in Australia at the time. And as I mentioned, these aren't just rubbed down uh, trash uh, coins I'm giving away. Uh, they're in decent value. Uh, they're not flawless. They're not in gem state <laughs> or uh, uh, BU condition. Oh, I just dropped my dime. I'll find it here in a minute, I hope. Uh, but you know, these are decent dimes, decent coins. So anyways, have fun guys. Leave your comment down below uh, with the hashtag and I wouldn't mind hearing from you. What are your guys' thoughts on the survey that I did? Thank you for your participation. I appreciate your support. I'll see you guys in my next video.